everyone. This is Coach Michelle coming to you live from Atlanta. I received the same question twice today. So I said, let me do a YouTube video real quick before I leave the office. Because if two people have the same exact question, there's a whole lot of other people with that question. So the question is, do I need a home care license if I am providing the services myself? So the answer to that is no. However, let me elaborate a little. So if I'm providing services to Ms. Jones, right? let's just say client A and client B. If I'm providing services to client A and I'm providing services Monday through Friday, eight to five, no, I do not need to get a home care license. It doesn't matter if you're in a regulated state or a non-regulated state. I do not need a license because I'm an individual providing services to client A in his or her home. This is when it gets a little sticky, tricky, and some people actually violate the rules and regulations of their state. So say I, Michelle, um, receive a referral from client A. And client A says, hey, I have a friend, client B, that needs services. And I contact client B and she says, oh, thank you so much. Client A told me all about you. I'm really excited and I would love for you to provide services to me and help me with my you know bathing like housekeeping meal preparation all those things that we cover under a home care license right so then you say oh i would love to help you i'm so excited blah 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 and then you say well what time and what days are you looking for she said oh monday through friday eight to five mm. conflict because you're taking care of client a during those same times and the same days so you say this is where it gets Get, get some people get in trouble. You say, oh, no problem. I know someone that can help you. If you refer your friend Tanya to client B and they negotiate and they work out and client B pays Tanya directly, then life is good. You don't have to have a license. She doesn't need a license. This is when some of you mess up and where I need to clarify. Same situation. Client A refers client B to you. You meet with client B. She needs the same exact hours client A needs. And you say, yes, I can help you. And then you call, uh, contact Tanya and you say, hey, Tanya, I have a client of mine. I need you to go out and work. The client pays you directly. You get paid $20 an hour and then you pay the caregiver, to, uh, Tanya, out of your money. The client is paying you and you are sending someone to work. That's when you need a license if you're in a regulated state. That's when you have just violated the rules and regulations of that state. Anytime you are physically sending someone out, you're being paid and you are sending someone out, you must have a license. And in some states that are regulated, that's even considered, um, even if you are not being paid, but if you are sending someone else out, that can be considered a referral, a registry, and a, and a few other things. So you wanna be very, very careful. So the key to success, if you want to grow and help multiple people simultaneously, keyword simultaneously, then you really should look into getting your home care license. So you are adhering to the rules and regulations of your state. And you wanna also make sure you're protecting yourself and you have the right insurance to cover you, to cover your client, and to cover your employees when you are sending them out. Some states allow you to have individuals go out and provide services to clients for you as contractors. I don't recommend it, but some states allow that. And then some states have what we call nurse, what we, we would call a nurse registry. Same thing, you hire contractors, you send them out. I don't even like nurse registries to be honest because when you're telling someone when to go, what to do, how to dress, the services to provide, they're really your employee. There's more you can find out about that if you go to the irs.gov website. They have a clear, clear um, docu document on how to differentiate between contractor and um, employee. You also can look on the, the, the uh, what is it, the Department of Labor. Um, website they have information on determining if someone is actually your employee a contractor is when you don't tell them what to wear 
where to go, what time you got to be there. What So like a nurse, for instance, most agencies will hire an independent contractor nurse, meaning you will simply tell the nurse, you know, what paperwork she needs to fill out, but you're not telling her how to fill it out. You would tell the nurse w what client to go out to do an assessment, but you're not telling her when to go to the assessment. Um, you're not telling the registered nurse uh, what to wear to the assessment. You're not telling the, you know what I'm saying? So it's like a painter, right? So when you hire a painter as a contractor in your home, you're not telling the contractor, I want you to use this type of brush. I want you to have this type of ladder. I want you to have, wear these type of clothes. And you're not telling the contractor. The contractor is telling you, I have availability next Tuesday to come out to paint your home. It's as simple as that. So make sure you understand what your rules and regulations are in your state. Make sure you understand what insurance you need, what licensing you need, all of those things to make sure that what you are doing is legal and, you're, and you are operating within the scope um, of what the state allows. Okay? So that's the answer. Quick, short, to the point. And if you guys have any questions, jot down below in the comment section. I do personally respond to the comments on YouTube. So I would love to hear that, provide any feedback. If you guys want more information about how I can help you, you know, through our VIP hybrid coaching program or any other services that we offer, um, licensing assistance and things like that, then you can visit us online. My website is Michelle with one L, M-I-C-H-E-L-E. Michelle Lee, L E E, Michelle Lee Ellis, E L L I S dot com, Michelle Lee Ellis dot com. And you can also find us on I Am Coach Michelle on Instagram and also on Facebook. I go live on Facebook all the time. I love it, love it, love it. And I give um, free information there as well. So again, that's Michelle Lee Ellis dot com, Facebook, Instagram, I Am Coach Michelle. Actually, on Instagram, um, it's, um, at home carepreneur. I'm transitioning a little. I'm using my, I am coach Michelle, um, for something else, but you can find me there, follow me and let me know if you have any questions and also jot down, you know, if there's any particular topic or question that you have that I may be able to, um, share some insight with. So take care. God bless. And I will see you guys on the next video. And if you, if you come to Facebook and you are a part of one of my lives, give me a shout out and let me know that you came from YouTube and don't forget to click the bell so you can be notified each and every time I go live and or drop a new video. Take care. God bless guys. Love you.